The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I may know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The model prayer. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. This morning my prayer to the Lord is for His rich grace. I never choose to begin a day without receiving special evidence that the Lord Jesus is my helper and that I have the rich grace that it is my privilege to receive. In my morning devotions, I have regarded it my privilege to close my petition with the prayer that Christ taught to His disciples. There is so much that I really must have to meet the needs of my own case that I sometimes fear that I shall ask amiss. But when in sincerity I offer the model prayer that Christ gave to his disciples, I cannot but feel that in these few words all my needs are comprehended. This I offer after I presented my special private prayer. If with heart and mind and soul I repeat the Lord's prayer, then I can go forth in peace to my work, knowing that I have not asked amiss. The scribes and the Pharisees often offered their prayers in the marketplaces and in the streets of the cities. Christ called them hypocrites. In every age, men have prayed that they may be seen of men. When Christ sees in his disciples errors that are liable to lead them astray, he always instructs them in the right way. He does not give an admonition without also giving an instructive lesson showing how to remedy the error. After instructing his disciples not to use vain repetitions in their prayers, in kindness and mercy, he gave them a short sample prayer in order that they might know how to avoid imitating the prayers of the Pharisees. In giving this prayer, he knew that he was helping human infirmity by framing into words that which comprehends every human need. We know not what we should pray for as we ought, but Christ's instruction to us is clear and definite.